Previously on Town Hall 10 Free to Play, we tried out the new Inferno Dragon on Town Hall 10 bases. Today we have an emergency. We must upgrade the Town Hall before losing a Book of Heroes. Oh no! So we have a little bit of a problem today. The Town Hall needs to go down for upgrade today, and I'll explain why here in a moment. What's going on, guys? My name is Joe, and welcome back for episode 66 of the Town Hall 10 Free-to-Play series. Now, today also marks the four-month anniversary of this Town Hall being upgraded from Town Hall 9 to Town Hall 10. Now, when we upgraded from Town Hall 9, we had level 25 King and level 25 Queen. You will see that we have maxed those heroes out to level 40, so that would be exactly 15 levels since the start of the this series so about three and a half months now one thing about this game is a lot of players tend to come to YouTube and they're looking for strategies and strategies is going to help you get better well it's a little bit more than that because if you go out in global and do some attacking you're gonna see a lot of bases are not even close to being maxed out and a lot of players try to rush ahead before ever maxing out the base so collectively that's what this series is entirely about you start and you finish and we start from a, a max town hall 9 and we finish as a max town hall 10 but we still have some upgrades that we need to go so today we're going to talk about and show off a tool that you can use on the clash ninja website to plan out your upgrades and try to move on to the next town hall level efficiently but before we get into the clash ninja website let me go ahead and explain what the problem is right now because we've been working on update material and i kind of just lost track of what was going on with the base i just kept upgrading stuff and i wasn't really paying attention to timelines so so the season pass has a book of heroes available and we can go ahead and claim that right now and so what happens is that goes to your town hall most of you guys know this stuff we cannot carry any more than one book of heroes and naturally like I just stated a few moments ago our heroes are maxed out but when we go to town hall 11 we have 10 additional levels that we need to do at town hall 11 so that's one book of heroes is going to go towards that once we immediately go from town hall 10 to town hall 11 now I also have a book of building, but I'm gonna save that for more than likely some upgrade at Town Hall 11. I'm not entirely sure, but it's more important at the next Town Hall level than it is right here on the Town Hall 10. Now here's the conflict. When we get over into the clan games, you'll see that we have three days remaining and 15 hours on the clan games. When we jump into the rewards, we have a book of heroes that's available here in the clan games. Now I will not be able to claim that book of heroes if I remain a Town Hall 10. So unfortunately, I would have to pass over on this and that is a huge waste. It really and truly is based on my current placement in the game, based on what my Town Hall looks like. Now for some of you out there that might be a little bit of a different situation and you might have to pass on it, but it's really hard to pass up on a Book of Heroes when you still have 10 additional levels at the next Town Hall level. Now speaking on Clan Games rewards, let me go ahead and state what I'm more than likely going to claim at the end of Clan Games. It's going to be the Training Potion, the Hero Potion, the Builder Potion. I more than likely will sell the Shovel for 50 gems and I will claim the Rune of Builder Elixir and that Book of Heroes. Now I I also did max out on my clan game so I can claim an additional reward so I will more than likely claim that rune of dark elixir because we're going to town hall 11 and I will need to do two upgrades on a hero immediately so I need to spend one book in order to claim that book now also with the timeline here the clan games finishes up in exactly three days the town hall upgrade takes exactly 10 days to upgrade so that doesn't necessarily pan out so in order to claim this book and that Dark Elixir Rune, I will need to upgrade the Town Hall immediately because you have exactly seven days once Clan Games concludes in order to claim your rewards. So you see where the conflict here is? I will have exactly, what, 15 hours to claim my rewards or I will lose this book forever. So now that we've identified that problem, we have one more problem. I don't have a builder available, so we're going to end up having to spend some gems today, unfortunately. It's either pass up on a book that's worth 500 gems or waste a book that's worth 925 five gems and I'm talking about the book of building here or just spend 269 gems instead and just go ahead and finish an upgrade that way we can put the town hall down today so that's exactly what I'm gonna have to do is you got to think about it a little bit what's more valuable over the other I value those books a lot more than 200 gems and you just, you just might have to do it it might be one of those situations where you just have to do it unless you buy gold passes and stuff totally different situation we're talking strictly free to play here 
So I'm going to go ahead and spend those gems live. That way you can see it happen. And we need to go ahead and claim some loot from our treasury. That way we can go ahead and go over the 7 million that we need. So 7,647,000. So let's go ahead and put down the upgrade right now. That way we can go ahead and get this thing counting down. And we're going to jump over to the Clash Ninja website. So we're dual wielding here iPad. So we're going to do a little bit of mobile device negotiation of the clash ninja website i've shown it multiple times on pc today i'm going to show it on a mobile device because most of you guys are operating on the mobile device so you're going to see that our town hall 10 is at 96 percent structure wise 90 percent in the laboratory 100 percent on the heroes and 100 percent for our walls now if we go down here and we finish out that one building that we just did a moment ago so let's go over to our resources and we're going to need to finish out actually it's already been finished i already did it earlier so we finished out that one upgrade and we're going to need to start the town hall upgrade so let's go ahead and start the town hall upgrade right there it's going to reload and let's see what it does here uh yes yes there we go all right cool good to go all right so when we jump over to the builder tab so you see this tab on the far right that says builders go ahead and click that builder tab and you scroll down and it's going to show this timeline so you can build upon this timeline and determine what you have left available to upgrade as well as where it's going to finish so what this means is that we'll start the clan war leagues as a town hall 10 because the town hall 11 is still under upgrade and we'll also have that season pass bank payout so five million gold and five million elixir will be paid out at the end of the clan games at the end of the season pass just before the clan war league so we'll only be sitting on that loot for like a few days so we won't lose that much now when you scroll to the bottom of this list you're going to see all these items that have not been upgraded so we have a few elixir collectors we have bomb towers we have giant bombs and we have some seeking air mines now we want to try to time this just right to where we have builders available once the town hall finishes that way we can put that archer queen down and use that book immediately see where we're trying to plan this out a little bit so in order to do this you go down here to the bottom of the list and you have this little arrow next to the item and you can add it to a, sp a specific uh builder so to speak so let's go ahead and look at that list again and so the items that are going to be finishing in the upcoming days will be builder three builder four and builder five so we can go ahead and stack on a few items for three days or something like that so let's do this let's add this one to builder three Let's add this one to Builder 4, and we can add this one to Builder 5. And we can select Update, and it should save. And you'll see how it adds it to the timeline, and it hasn't passed the Town Hall level, so we should be good to go. We can add more to this list. So let's go back to Builder 3, and let's add our Bomb Tower. And this is just hypothetical. I might change this upgrade order as I move on in the upcoming days. Uh, let's see here let's go bomb tower is going to finish about the same time as the town hall now if you're working on a pc you can use your mouse and hover over these items and it'll show exactly what time and what date they finish out um, and that way you can get a better more defined answer on your timeline on this upgrade process now we can also finish up by adding uh, let's see here let's add a seeking air mine to builder 2 let's add a seeking air mine or a giant bomb to builder 4 let's see here builder 4 and let's do builder five there and let's see what it looks like now and i think we have a few more days that we can add on some giant bombs to the end of builder four and builder five this is just for example like i said a moment ago this might be shifted around a little bit uh, let's go ahead and add these to builder four and builder five so i think i did that in reverse there we go and so we should be finishing out about the same time so that should be exactly through all four builders actually all five builders being finished around the same time unless we add something on so this is just to show you how to do it live that way you understand how this operates you go down here and hit update again and it should update this uh, information but we should come up short with exactly four elixir collectors for me this is not that big of a deal but for some of you it might be you might want to hold off but again for me at this very moment a book of heroes is a little bit more valuable than these four elixir collectors and then we should be able to claim that book while also being pretty much close to maxed out on our town hall 10 base all right so hopefully you're able to get a pretty good understanding on how to operate the clash ninja website on a mobile device now that planner is actually really cool because you can use it to plan out to see if you're going to have builders available when the 
season bank pays out because you know a lot of times you're sitting on a ton of loot and it's just sitting there and you have no builders available and people are just stealing your loot and a lot of players don't like that stuff now that website also has the capability to add the gold pass boost as well so that way it takes off that time and it gives you like more realistic numbers for if you are a gold pass buyer and also if you've never been on that site before i will link it down in the description below for you to try out for yourself the only thing that it really does is it reads off the api of the game but it does not have any actual interaction or capability to take over your account on clash of clans you don't have to worry about that i would never use a site that would have the ability to do something like that and i've been using that site for about two to three months and i've had absolutely no problems whatsoever and on that note i'm going to finish up this video with one final raid and this poor guy guy he's so rushed but he has a lot of loot here and i'm gonna take all of it i can't help myself we got to start farming again yes i did drop down from champions league a few hours ago because i was running into a lot of clouds and and matchmaking wasn't really matching me up at all it was just it was kind of weird but I needed loot really, really bad in order to make this video possible, and so I ended up having to drop down. Now, if you are a player that's not this far along and you are trying to find videos that has no heroes or no siege machines, make sure you go back in the playlist. And we did cover a lot of that stuff early on because I too also had to do a lot of hero upgrading. Now, where is this queen going? Oh my goodness, she's gonna continue on that path. We gotta drop some baby dragons to turn her back in. Let's go drop baby dragon over there as well. Gotta stay focused on the attack and not mess up. But I will link the playlist down in the description below for you guys. That way you can go back in the Town Hall 10 series and find those videos that are more relatable to where you are in the game right now because I'm probably a lot farther along than a lot of you guys out there. Let me go ahead and drop my king over here. We did bring the battle blimp in to make things interesting. We do have a Yeti bomb, I think it is. Uh, I think it's called, I can't even remember what they call them anymore. Stuff like this, just, it keeps changing. All these names and, and stuff, it's just really hard to keep up with. Uh, let's drop Baby Dragon there and there, and let's go ahead and just make things really interesting. Where are the air sweepers? So the air sweepers are facing down towards the bottom of the base. So let's come in through the top side with our battle blimp. Let's drop a balloon and a balloon. Queens should be fine over there. We got a few Baby Dragons. Let's use that King's ability, and let's go ahead and break some stuff. <laughs> I love it. There goes our Yeti and Valkyries. They're going to start taking out things in the center of the base. Queen decided that she wanted to go back the other way. Not that bit. Not bad at all, actually. That's actually a really good thing she did that. We got Balloon. We got a bunch of Wall Breakers that we can get rid of. We have destroyed this base really, really fast. I don't even think we need to use any more of our spells. No, I think we're good on spells. Let's go ahead and get rid of these Baby Dragons. That way we can reset the army. Let's drop Baby Dragon there. And uh, where is... <laughs> there it is right there all right so hopefully you're able to get something out of today's video and the information in it was useful we have 10 days to go on our town hall upgrade so that means that we're going to continue with town hall 10 free to play content and i also got to get over on the rush base series as well and do some stuff over there man oh man this stuff is starting to stack up really bad if you enjoyed our content today make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe if you have not done so already and if you like watching us every single day turn on those notifications if you want to see the town hall 10 free to play series from the very beginning click one of those links over there and we will see you in the next one guys take care